A pastor in Iran once again makes a stand for Christ. Yusuf Nadarkhani faces execution within days. They're going to execute him. Why? Because he refused to renounce Jesus Christ. When asked to repent by the judges, Yusuf stated, repent means to return. What should I return to? To the blasphemy that I had before my faith in Christ? The judges replied, to the religion of your ancestors, Islam, to which he replied, I cannot. The American Center for Law and Justice is working to help free Pastor Youssef. Can you save his life? Uh, we're working on it, Bill. He has been a Christian. He's a pastor of an evangelical church, technically under Sharia law. He did not even violate it. Jordan, how close is Pastor Youssef to being put to death? At this moment that I'm talking to you, Lee, le could be less than 24 hours. They're going to try to use him as an example. The lower court has authorization from the Supreme Court uh, to carry out the execution at any time. There is no appeal process here. Mm -hmm. There is no real court system. They can carry out an execution. That still stands. It has not been overturned yet. They can carry out the execution before we get a written order. It's late in the game, but if U.S. pressure can be put on, the Secretary of State's office needs to be a lot more affirmative than they've been on this situation. Of course, the U.N. is saying nothing. It is so crucial that we get this story out and that we get it on the media. The more international news we can make, uh, the better chance we have at saving this pastor's life. Saying Sharia law is compatible with the U.S. Constitution, this is Sharia law. What's happening to that man in Iran? As of today, of course, Pastor Youssef is still alive. That three of the five judges seem to be leaning towards overturning at least his death sentence. Internal and external pressure could swing that vote one way or the other. I think a statement from President Obama would even be more important. Uh, what I'd like to see next is probably Secretary of State Hillary Clinton on the record, not just uh, the State Department, not just a spokesperson, but actually Hillary Clinton. That would also make uh, international news. These written orders, uh, something actual real confirmation, uh, they can take a long time to get. So, so we'll, we'll be following very closely. The White House statement was big news, international news, but unfortunately Unfortunately, Bill, we saw from Secretary of State Clinton a one sentence statement today, but she didn't expressly call for his release, which means the international news won't be able to quote our Secretary of State, our top diplomat, as calling for the release of this pastor. Here you've got a situation where it's not even a violation of yeah. Sharia law, yet they're doing this, and no one's saying you can't. That's the, real, the reality of what we're dealing with. It's a sad situation. Pray for Pastor Yusuf and his young family.